talk a little bit about aperture. Aperture is referring basically to the opening inside of your lens here. And so you can see at different apertures that the opening is either smaller or bigger. So when I go from 5.6 to f4, I'm actually doubling the amount of light. And when I go from 2.8 to 4, I'm cutting it in half. So this one, I have a big opening. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So when you have less and less light coming through the aperture of the lens, you have to compensate for that image getting darker and darker and darker and darker by either increasing your ISO or lengthening your shutter speed. These are the typical apertures that you will see and going from one to the other is referred to as a full stop. Some people call it opening up or stopping down when you switch from one aperture to another. Aperture controls two major things. Okay, so one is the amount of light which leads to the exposure and the other one is depth of field which is the amount in sharp focus. So an example here now this is macro so my aperture there of f40 is because of this type of lens that I have. Most of them go to about f22 on average, so you won't see this f40 a lot. But here you can see detail in the background. All petals on this flower are relatively sharp. And when I go down to f20, now I haven't moved my camera. I haven't changed anything. Now I had to change the shutter speed, okay, in order to compensate for this, but the main thing that I'm concentrating on is changing the aperture. So I haven't moved it back and forth or anything like that, changed my composition one bit. But you can see that at f20, things are getting softer. That background is getting less defined. And then if I go all the way down to 5, 6, very little is in focus. And so the way that I like to remember it in my head, especially when I was first starting out, is the lower the f number, so 40, 20, five, six, the less in focus. Higher F numbers, F20, more in focus from front to back. So if you can remember that little tidbit, that will help you understand aperture in the long run. Now I have a basic question for you guys, answer at home, which one of these is right? If you answered none of the above, it is purely according to what you want your photo to be about and what you want it to say, then you answered correctly. So I hope this helps a little bit in understanding of aperture and I will see you guys later.